Yep. I forgot to put anything in the description box. But hey, y'all, happy Tuesday. I hope everybody is doing well. Thank you for being here. I'm always excited to hang out with y'all on Tuesday nights when I need to sub in for Devonda. So I hope everybody is doing well. Tonight, I'm going to actually try to make sure that this isn't prolonged. Um, we have a few things that we got to do tonight. And I actually deterred from my original plan. My original plan was to do a DTF and sublimation comparison to see what you all thought about um, sublimation and DTF, and if that's something that you would be interested in doing, discussing some of the pros and cons. So maybe next time, not Friday night, I don't think, but maybe on another live, we will discuss um, or compare DTF, sublimation, and or Cricut or any cutting machine and DTF because DTF has seemed to uh, put a lot of people or a lot of cutting machines on the edge or maybe in the trash. So we'll talk about that. But if this is your first time here, thank you for being here. I'm Patrice and this is Craftable Things and we like to craft like a lot of stuff. So if you're interested in our content and you enjoy, enjoy tonight, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and make sure to click the subscribe button. That'll probably be the only time I say it tonight. Y'all, I'm obsessed with these vending machines, like the craft vending machines that people are making. Like they've been making it for a while. And I think I want to finally make one. My little cousin is having a mean girls party and they asked me to do some of the party favors and decorations. And so I think I'm gonna add that to um the list so let me know if that's something you are interested in let me know if you've done a one of the vending machines if you're not sure what i'm talking about it's just a miniature size vending machine that some crafter i don't even know who i wish i knew who it was but it's been a while since people have been doing it but they're the absolute cutest things so yeah she's gonna have 10 girls so i'm gonna try to make 10 of them um, so that they could each have their own little uh, mini vending machine with some snacks in it. But that's what we got going on. How's everybody doing? Let me see who's here. And then we are definitely going to be popping into um, our our project tonight. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you. I don't think so. Hey, Angel Boo. I hope you enjoyed your vacation. Hey, Boyd Apparel and Designs. Hey, Dempsey Boo. This is like 30 minutes ago. They probably already gone. Well, Dempsey, yeah, they're not gone. Angel and Dempsey usually be around a lot. Oh, I forgot to say hi to everybody out there in the bushes. Hey, y'all. Hope you guys are doing well. Don't get scratched up by those branches. But I hope y'all are doing pretty well, okay? And I love y'all. For my members, subscribers, y'all already know how I feel about y'all. Hey, Victoria's Creations. Hey, Bridget Porter, Leslie Cash Tibbs. Hey, Shay Shay, y'all already know I was late. Like, I don't know why I was late running around. I'm not used to going on on Tuesdays anymore, Delonda. Not used to it. Hey, Miss Gail, welcome in. Hey, Mayor Bear. So tell me what you guys are working on. Hey, Miss Zelda Brown. Y'all know I hear echo. I can't stand the echo. I cannot stand the echo. But hey, Miss Elder Brown, Renee Meyer, Raquel, Robin S. So we're actually going to be using our cricket a little bit. So we're going to see how it's going to operate. And y'all, so I haven't used my cricket maker. Um, to cut out a rhinestone template in a while. And I was trying to cut out Delanda's blessed design and it just it just it wasn't cutting. So the Cricut Maker 3, I used the medium cardstock setting. The heavy cardstock setting doesn't work for me. And then also for the Cricut Explore 3, I used the medium cardstock setting. I tried the heavy cardstock setting. Nothing seemed to want to work for me. So I don't even know 
Now the venture, I could have cut it with the venture with the light parts like setting and it would have been perfect. But I tried so many different settings. I even reverted back to my old settings where I do the custom settings inside of Cricut Design Space and use it with, um, I usually did that one with my regular maker and that cut out fine. But now it's just, I don't, I can't, I can't. Oh, I gotta get some balls. What is going on here? Okay, first of all, let me turn off this noise cancellation because I don't have time for drama tonight. I don't have time for drama. And y'all know who brings the drama every single week. I don't even see noise cancellation. Oh, why is it on here? Ugh. I have echo cancellation on. See if you guys can hear me better now. I don't know. Let's see. I hope you guys can hear me good. Can you guys hear me well? Am I too low? I don't even have my mic plugged in. Just a lot. No, I'm scrolling down. Hey, Stacy, Danny. Hey, everybody. So another thing I want to let you guys know that um, if you are interested in getting a bling box, the bling boxes um, for the month of April, they're there it's closed off but if you want to get in for may may is open and i'm going to explain a little bit about the bling boxes hey Rhonda. let me scroll down before i miss something i'm sorry y'all gotta scroll down y'all know i'd be always behind all the time shay shay hey shay shay welcome to our channel thank you for being a member in our amazing group like it's it's the best they are amazing and i appreciate you being a part of it all right i'm scrolling down if y'all say something to me y'all gotta tell me something else and <laughs> you may not want it in your box Devonta. you may not want it Thank you, Devonda. Thank you. But you may not want this one. This is just so I was actually going to speaking of Devonda while I was talking about the blessed design. So it did not cut it out good for me. It did it left so many dots and I just like I was playing with it from the time I came home today because I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna show you cutting out a design from the beginning to the end using my Cricut Maker. But of course I want those rhinestone dots to stay behind, but they really they weren't they weren't acting right so i do have part of it cut out i have the outline of bless cut out but the reason why i wanted to use that design tonight because i was going to do both is because i'm going to bling out the what's i don't know if you guys saw it before but i do have a design that says what's luck got to do with it and so i wanted to like put on the back of the shirt and rhinestones blessed so if y'all want me to complete that shirt like that, let me know. I'll I'll turn uh oh I don't even have I probably have another piece, a larger piece of flock that I could put inside of the Caesar Romeo and get that put out quickly, like the inside of it. But if not, we can wait until like Friday. Friday, um Friday works well because I don't have to go to anybody's job on Friday, on Saturday morning. But we'll see. If y'all want me to do it, I could do it. I could do it. Y'all, look at my cute cup. I don't have sweet tea tonight because I've been a little bit under the weather. But I have some hot tea. And y'all, look how cute my cup is. Look, it, well, it matches my shirt. I love it. <laughs> this was the design for the bling box, but we did it in rhinestones for the bling box uh, for March. And this design, um, I'll probably put, if anybody's interested in, I'll put it in, not the rhinestone template, but the um, SVG, I'll put it on the website. But, oh, isn't it so cute? It's so cute. All right, let's see. Oh, did y'all hear my bell? I didn't even, I couldn't even see if you guys heard my bell or not. I hope y'all heard it. <laughs> I am so far behind. It's still the silent bell. Okay, 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 okay. 
Okay. Come on, so I cut it with heavy. Oh, heavy, heavy cardstock. Corner junk did not work for me and more pressure setting. So does does it do two passes or do you get um because the Cricut Maker 3 does heavy cardstock, but it does like three two passes. And I'm like, it lifts it up, and then it's just like so much. It's just too much. Thank you, Miss Sharon Davenport. All right, y'all. I don't scroll all dang. Y'all can't okay, okay, we gotta take a break. Hey Minerva. Hey Donzel. Jesse. One little break. <laughs> Jesse, that is not right. All right, let me see if I could change this audio because I mean it doesn't make sense. Okay, maybe it's the reduced background noise. So y'all are gonna hear quite a few things. Let's see. Oh, let me try to maybe that will help. All right, let's see. Tell me if you can hear this bell or not. Can you hear it? Tell me that you heard that because clearly I heard it. So tell me if you guys heard it. Did you hear it? Hey, Judy. Thank you. All right, guys, so I figured out what it is. So it's because I have the background noise, reduced background noise selected. Now, of course, when Brody is going or we have like the Cricut Maker working or whatever is working and it's kind of loud, ooh, <laughs> that tea, I will probably still turn it on just because it, it'd be a lot of noise so y'all i picked out a lot of colors that i don't use today and i don't necessarily like the color green it's not really my favorite color um but i did pick out some htv some green htv and i have some puff some gold puff htv that we can kind of play around with today and a little lime green and yeah so that's what we got today. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do for our our HTV. I'm gonna get ready to open up Cricut Design Space. And we also have a whole bunch of greens that I'm gonna use tonight. Like I have uh, gold emerald metalite. I have green flame out. I have like all the greens that I have out. And y'all gonna see how much I just don't like green because I don't have uh, many of them so you guys will see that but maybe just maybe i might end up liking green tonight but i am vowing to use hey miss Rosalind, hey marlene i am vowing to use more colors that i don't use all the time now y'all might still see a little bit of orum because you know what we're gonna use the green the gold emerald metal light so you won't see you won't see it you won't see it all right let's see let me close out some of this oh i gotta show you all this real quick let me bring look at my okay so don't talk about my patch because it is busted but i have a patch that i've been working on i'm gonna bring it under so i did a test stitch of it and you know, it was a hot mess it said stitch is a hot mess but i'm gonna show y'all really quick and then we're gonna go to we're gonna go to um cricut design space y'all okay so this was my test stitch of course it's a little bit you know not correct because i wasn't really being 100 percent you know perfect with the placement of the htv but i actually layered it with two layers of HTV. I don't like the satin stitch around the letters. I think it's just too thin. I do wanna make it a little bit thicker. Not as thick as the border though, but just a little bit thicker. And y'all, I absolutely, Sin! Hey Sin! What you got going on Sin? 
And so I do want to kind of work on that. So I need to thicken up the, the outline of the letters. But I did it as an applique. So I do have it with like a fill version and then also just applique. But we're doing, I did a double applique. So it's like a glitter, a white glitter, and then a gold glitter. And then we're doing, of course, we have our letters, but that's one of my new patches that I'm putting on my jacket or Delonda's jacket because she thinks it's her jacket. No worries. No, but there's so many, like, I got to change some stuff with it because it just doesn't look like all that clean and crisp to me so oh y'all i got an unboxing that i gotta do i got a few unboxings that i gotta do but it's all good all right so we're gonna head into cricut design space let me head back to y'all i'm gonna share my screen and then we're gonna get ready to cut out um <laughs> she's a hot mess all right let's see all right so let me bring up the chat here so i can see it because i can't see anything mm. now how do i go into youtube and my I'm a, am i am i subscribed to my own channel like my own mom didn't come up what is going on that was strange all right so let me head into cricut design space for those of you who don't know this is cricut design space and we are going to be working with layering htv okay and so i'm just going to show you guys like how i create my design why i create my designs the way that i create them um because well as we do we'll go further into it Kim Cade, where's my bell? Welcome. Thank you for joining our channel. Hope you enjoy it. Y'all, I love our membership. So it's kind of like, the membership is similar to like how our bling boxes are. So with the bling boxes, you don't get, um, the design that I create inside of the bling box is only for the bling box, like the rhinestone version, is only available for anybody who has a subscription. Now I have been seeing a lot of people requesting that and Arnik mentioned it last week about getting, if they sign up, can they get previous versions of the template? I'm not sure yet if that's something that I wanna offer. Um, I do want it to kind of be just for those boxes. And then I'm just looking at the, the long run, like next year sometimes somebody may be requesting templates from the very first one. And I just think that that's not that's not what I had in mind when I um, created the bling boxes. Like it was gonna be a bling box and then that was it. Like the design and that was it. Um, but our memberships are kind of similar to that. Like you get some perks being a member. Sometimes we do some Zooms or some lives together. And um, yeah, but I absolutely love our, our group. All right, so this is Cricut Design Space. I'm just gonna open up just a little bit. I should have got my mouse and maybe it's as open as it want to be. It's as open as it wants to be. All right. So on the left side, we're going to upload our design and we're uploading an SVG file. Okay. And so it's already here, but I'm going to go through the process of showing how to get it done. So we're going to select upload. Now we need to browse and this particular design is inside of my downloads folder because I had to download it from my Google Drive that I gave to the members because guess what? I took it off my computer. So here is the file that we have. I'm gonna try to see the, com oh, I could see the comments up here. If I do it like this, I could see it better. I'm sorry, y'all. Just trying to make sure I can see a little bit of the comments. All right, so this is the design. And as you see, it's one, two, three colors. I'm gonna select upload. 
and then we're going to select it now if you want to bring it or add it to your canvas you definitely have to have it selected okay if I click out you'll see how it'll go away if I don't click it well maybe it won't do it again I just did it but I have it okay so I clicked on it and now y'all see that it's not selected add to canvas isn't selected so now I'm going to select it and now we're going to add that to canvas all right so now that we brought it in it comes in already grouped together so all of the parts are grouped together there should be three parts in this design and it's all grouped so once I go over to the right layers panel and I expand it there are our three different parts now it's still all grouped together so I can't move it you can actually go from here to make it if it's like this and it will be layered on different mats for you okay you don't have to ungroup it I just like to ungroup it just to make sure you know everything's gonna look how I want, want it to look now with this particular design you can actually it came in at a size of 6.784 by 4.312 you can change the size of this design okay you can change it you can make it wider you can make it longer depending on the blank that you're going to be using so if we were to say we're going to put it on like this mug um you can resize it down to fit the mug you just need to know the size of the mug right um depending on the shirt size you're going to be using you may want to size it according to a small or maybe a large that's up to you but now is your opportunity to do it anytime you bring something into Cricut Design Space it's going to come in with the proportions button locked and that's this button right here okay so no matter what I do when I drag it it's going to just you know it's gonna stay proportionate meaning it's going to stay true to the design what I size it at no matter how big or small it is that's what this uh, does for you now let's say you you're like you know what I want it I want to stretch it out a little bit but I don't want it to be too long but let's say you're gonna put on a cup right then guess what you would do then you would go ahead I'm just gonna go ahead and make a copy of this and making my copy I'm holding down my option key and I'm dragging down now another way to make your copy you can right click and then you can select duplicate or you can select copy and paste like you have these two options I usually just hold down my my option key and my uh, left mouse button and drag down and that will create the duplicate for me I'm using a PC if you're using a I'm using a Mac if you're using a PC you will hold down the alt key okay hey Penny welcome in thank you Karen all right so if you are a member this is on my website craftablethings.com this design um, and both if you purchase the rhinestone file you'll also get the SVG but if you are like girl I'm not into those rhinestones that's okay I have the SVG available for you too but if you are a member please check the community tab there is a um, in the community tab there's post just for members and this particular design is there it's going to link you to the google drive once you get to the google drive please download the file and save it the design some designs i i leave there because i just forget to take them off but some desi designs i actually go back in and restrict access to it after a week or two weeks so please make sure that you um download this and and save it and keep it and make sure in Davenport I, I hope you saw I'm gonna say that I hope you saw okay if you didn't let me know let me know all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys when you unlock the proportions button up here you can then stretch this out as you see like now we can pretty much stretch it out from anywhere so if I stretch it out to the left I can make a little bit wider right I can bring it down okay bring it down a little bit now let's say we want to make some stickers with this we're gonna get ready to cut it but what if you like you know what I might want to make some stickers with it right I don't necessarily want to use it on a shirt but 
I might want to make some stickers with it. So we may make this a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to go ahead and it's still, the proportion button is still um, unlocked. But let's say this is like a two, two and a quarter by 1.38. I'm going to select this. Geneva Coleman, welcome. Geneva Coleman, welcome to our channel. Welcome to our memberships. Thank you for being here and joining. All right, so now this is like a two and a quarter inch design, right? So all you gotta do, you can do the create sticker um, thing, but I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about Cricut right now in the access. I used to have the access membership and I still have a few little perks here and there with access, but I'm not really sure how I feel about it. That's why I'm not paying for it. So here we have what Slut got to do with it. And let me go back. If you're brand new to crafting and to the world of crickets and cutters and things like that, and you don't necessarily have a standalone design program that you work in, whether it's Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape, um, what else do we use? Photoshop, Canva, anything like that, and you only work in Cricut, I do still recommend getting it could be beneficial to you to be able to have all of that. Now, if you have all that other stuff, you don't necessarily need Cricut All Access because I'd never designed anything inside of Cricut Design Space anymore unless I'm doing a tutorial showing how to do something inside of it. So I pay the money for it and I don't really use it at all. And that just don't make any sense. So I can't do it. All right, so now we're gonna make an offset around it, right? The Cricut sticker thing, I think it's just for people who have the access member. When I did use it, I think it's for people who have the all access membership. All right, so we are going to select offset. Hey, Ms. Cheryl. And there's two different offsets that you could make. Actually, I should have selected the black because I don't necessarily want it around each. Okay, perfect. All right, so if you guys notice here, uh -oh, I can't move it over. I should have made it a little bit bigger. All right, I'm gonna move it down. I want you guys to see it better. All right, so it just looks a little bit larger on the screen, but it's not. But if you wanna make a sticker, you will just go ahead, select your offset tool here. And then right now it says the distance is a 0.25, meaning that's gonna be the distance from the image to the edge of that offset, okay? Then you would go ahead and reduce that because y'all, you can't have that too big. So let's say I move it like this, right? Mm, that's gonna be a very thin, it's not gonna be enough. I may make it a little bit bigger. And then you can have either corners or you can, you can have it curved or you can have sharp edge corners. But I would go a little bit bigger because I kind of want it to touch a little bit. Not that much. Let's go. That's 2.125. I'm going to type it in once it's done. All right. That might work. Okay. I think I like that sticker. Now, if you want it to touch, let's say if I did a 0.125. Let's see if that's going to touch. Okay. So we let's click apply. All right, so you could actually make this into a sticker. Now, what I would do, though, is I would go here. Right here, it looks like that's going to cut because it's touching, but I don't necessarily want it to cut that out, right? So let's click onto the offset and then contour. And I just want to find that little small piece right there to remove it. Uh-oh, I meant to click it. Did I not click it, y'all? I thought I clicked it. Okay. Not click it. Okay, let's see. I, did I click it or did I not click it? I clicked it. Let me click it. I thought I could. Y'all, what am I doing? Oh. Oh, it did two. Why did it do that, y'all? I don't know why it did that. Let me move this over here. I don't know why it didn't even let me do my. Okay, let's see. 
Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let me move it up. I can't even move on. Oh, my goodness. Now everything want to come up. Okay. There we did it. We got it. Like, what is going on? All right. So now we're going to put this back here. I don't know where this one came from. I think from that first time I did the offset and I just didn't do it. All right, so now we're gonna have this here. I'm gonna select all of this because we can't move this right here because that's not actually touching. If we look closer, it's not actually touching. It looks like it is, but if you keep going in and going in and going in, we couldn't move it, but you could. So let's see if I don't really want that there. What I would usually do is just take a shape and maybe draw like a small little circle to go over it and then i will roll that together like that maybe get us sheila it was your birthday yesterday happy birthday sheila i hope you enjoyed your day y'all tell sheila happy birthday yes it was her birthday so i would just like move to cover it up here myself because I don't necessarily want um, that little part to cut out. And then I would just select both of those. And guess what I would do? I would just weld it together. Where is it? There it is. Like, Cricut has too many glitches going on. Like, it's just too much. All right, so let me bring this to the front. Where's Angel? Because I could see Angel. I could hear her already right now. See? I could hear her, literally hear her. All right, so, hey, Sharon Davis. Hey, Carla. All right, so now we're going to bring this back here, and you want to make some stickers. This is a sticker. It has an offset around it, and that's something that you can give away or do something that you want to do with it. I'm just going to go ahead and select all of this and flatten it and now we have a sticker that we can print out and do whatever we want to do with it all right so i do want to use this but i am going to hide this for now because i'm not going to use it just yet i'm actually gonna make some stickers and give them away all right so now we're ready to cut and I need to size this out. This is the original one. I need to size this out. I'm going to put it on a large shirt and an extra large shirt. So I would say I want to make it at least 10. I could go to 11 inches wide. But I think I'm going to do 10 and a quarter. I think I'm going to do 10 and a quarter. All right. So let me ungroup it. And for the one that I'm doing, I didn't, as y'all saw when I undid it and did all the, um, removed the lock button for uh, the size to keep it proportioned, I didn't do that for this one, all right? So now I already ungrouped it so I can move it. So I do want to show you guys why um, I do my designs the way that I do them and why I like doing it this way. So if you're new and layering may be something that you might be scared to do, um, a little bit unsure of or you just ready to dive into it. When I layer my designs, I like to knock out anything that is behind it. And that's because if you layer vinyl on top of vinyl on top of vinyl, it can become very heavy. And that's one thing that people who don't necessarily like vinyl anymore, they complain about, like, oh, vinyl is just so heavy. Um, however, I think that they've made a lot of improvements to vinyl. But if you knock out, if you have things that are supposed to be layered, then just knock out whatever is behind it. So with this design, there's only three parts. We have the inside of Luck. Hey, m &T Living. Hey, Marta and D. Smith and Robin S. Hey, y'all. Hey, Miss Starla. How you been? And then we also have this um, for Leaf Clover, right? So those are the three layers, one, two, and three, okay? So I'm gonna get ready. We're going to get ready and make this. I think for the first layer, for the black layer, we're actually going to use a gold glitter cardstock 
and then for the inside of luck this is going to be the last thing we're going to do we're actually going to use gold puff vinyl now y'all i can't use my htv no i can't use my big heat press we're going to have to use the htv rant and i know that with the htv rant it does not supply a good amount of pressure for us right but we're going to try to to get that done with the htv rant i'm going to stuff one of the cricket pads inside and see if that will help it um but well, we're gonna see, all right? Now, I, I have had success doing Puff Final with the Bavor Auto Press. That has worked really well for me, but the HTV run has not always worked uh, that great for me, all right? So we're gonna get ready, and then the Four Leaf Clover is just gonna be regular green HTV, I guess. We'll do something like that, all right? All right, so let's click Make It my maker three is already on that's what we're going to be using today and we're also going to brush in a design if we have time because i've already gone past the time that i wanted to spend in cricut design space showing going on a tangent showing y'all how to do a sticker because we unlock the proportions and things that you could do and set oh, it's a hot mess just a hot mess all right let me make sure i have the right um so if you notice up here, I still have my Explore 3 selected, okay? And then I need to change it to the Maker 3 because that's what we're going to be using today. Marilyn, you know it's, it's a hot mess here. You know that. A heart mat and pillow and it comes out great. Thanks, Gina. I'm going to try it tonight because before it was not coming out good. Thanks, Claudette. Hey, Yolanda. All right, so let's click make it. I changed it to the Maker 3. We are going to cut out the glitter and also the puff first um, because I'm going to use glitter cardstock for both of those. All right, so I'm going to put on matte. And we're going to click confirm. And let's... Oh! Mm-mm. Guess what I didn't do? I didn't make all that into a compound bath, did I? Okay, so let's go back. Let's go back. So I want you guys to see this. So whenever you get something like this, let me show you. So whenever you get something like this and you're like, la, 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 I'm gonna go ahead and cut my design out, right? Let me make sure, let me see if this is all. Well, that's fine. That's not fine. So it, whenever you get something like this, what does this mean? It means that everything is not made into a compound path. It means that, and compound path would mean like it's not welded together. It's not all in sync. So what are we going to have to do? We're going to have to go back and we're gonna to have to fix this. All right, so let me go cancel. And then I'm gonna to have to select the black, right? Now I'm going to have to right click. Well, you don't have to right click. You can always select from the bottom panel to get this done. Um, I'm going to right click. Now with combine, you can, I'm just going to click weld, but you can unite it. Okay. You can unite it, but I'm going to select weld. And then now that's welding it all together. Then for the L, the C, the K. And even though it looks like this on the Cricut design um, on the page, if I right click and select ungroup, those will all be separate letters, okay? So if I right click and click ungroup, now, as you guys see, now they're all separated. So if they were made in a, a compound path, if I had did that step, it wouldn't look like this. Like you wouldn't even be able to ungroup it, okay? So that's, you shouldn't have to do that if you expect to get it like that just saying now unless you want to cut them all in different colors and things like that but i doubt you want to do that so now we're just going to right click and we are going to i'm going to weld it i'm a welding queen i like to weld all right so now we're going to head over to make it and you guys will see the difference okay And we're going to be using a mat. Even though we're using the Cricut Maker 3, you do know that 
The Cricut Maker 3 can be used uh, without a mat if you are using their, uh, their, I forgot what the stuff is called, jeez. What is it called? If you're using their, their, not even just their vinyl, their, I don't even know what this called anymore. <laughs> What is it called, y'all? Y'all know the matless. Well, no, well, it's matless. You don't have to use a mat, but it, there's a name for it. Smart material. Mira Lynn, you always gonna get your girl out of a jam. Thank you, Mira Bear. If you're using their smart materials, you won't have to have a mat to cut. Okay. Thanks everybody for helping me out because whoa, I hadn't. I couldn't remember. Couldn't remember nothing. All right, so. Here we're ready to cut, and as you see, now it's perfectly normal, right? It, it looks good. So for this particular one, we're going to be using um, glitter HTV Caesar uh, Gold Glitter. Here we're going to be using the puff, and the puff is going to be the last thing that we press, okay? And then we're going to be using regular HTV. So we can get ready and oh and another thing what do we need to do we need to mirror it so if you are using htv material you're always going to need to mirror it now some of the printable some of the printable um htvs you have to lift it like you're lifting uh dtv or easy subly but for the most part you need to mirror your um your images right so we have it mirrored our first Cut is going to be our gold, our gold uh, glitter, and I don't know where my slicer is for my paper. What did I do with it, y'all? What did I do with it? I don't even know. We're gonna have to use some scissors today. We're gonna be using scissors today. That's what it looks mm -hmm. like. <coughs> All right, so we're gonna be using one of the one of my maker threes and uh, this is the one I think that we're going to be using and I'm just going to select gold glitter I'm going to select glitter HTV oh I don't see it oh glitter iron on that's what we're going to do they're mirrored same pressure and I'm going to get ready to place this on the mat so I'm going to bring you guys to the table and then we're going to get ready to cut it that's frame share all right i'm going to add this in add to stage and i'm going to make me a little bit smaller y'all don't need to really see me much all right all right so we're just going to get ready to put this on our mat hey josie boo Hey girl. All right, so we're using a standard grip mat for this, and I usually use a standard grip mat for my HTV. Uh oh, I gotta cut a little piece off of here. So I use this for our or for my um little patch that I made now. For my members, do y'all want to do uh, another patchy live or Zoom? I don't know if it's going to be a live. Oh, yeah, y'all. Look, I got some work to do back there. But do y'all want to do another patchy live or Zoom? I actually cut it out. Um, I actually stitched that out today. But maybe I need to use my new machine. So look, so we have our glitter HTV. One side is shiny. The other side is matte. So you need to know which side that you're going to cut on, right? So we're going to be cutting on the matte side. Now, sometimes the, the newer or some some certain HTVs, sometimes you can't really tell. So what I usually do is if I can't tell, like I definitely know for here, but if I can't t tell, I'll just peel off like a little corner just so that I can see where the carrier side is, okay? And anywhere the carrier side is, that's what you want to go onto the mat, okay? because your your cricket is not going to be able to cut through your carrier material and that is the the shiny material here it's not going to be able to cut through it okay but i'm just going to 
take this and another thing just make sure you know exactly um, what size it needs to be so this needs to be about at seven right I don't have my trusted cutter with me I don't know where I had it I haven't I actually have not been crafting for too long so well like not too long but like I haven't been really crafting I know we crafted the other night on live with the Wanda and Evie and Mare Bear and Dempsey but I hadn't really done much in a while and for those of you who know me and what I do at school like we've had a lot of things going on um and Terrell has had to step in of course I still had to design the stuff but he had to like um cut it and then he had to get Flippy to cut it and then he also had to put it up like we had some like final signs that we needed to put up around the school because we're having some visitors and he had to do it and I couldn't even be there to object or to to watch him because I just couldn't. All right, y'all. So I don't know if you guys could even see the cricket really good over there. Probably not. I don't know if you guys could see cricket. Let me get me another little sip. Just a small sip. So I'm going to actually get ready to, let me move this over here. And we're just going to press this in. Y'all can see the cricket a little bit. Let me move this computer. But y'all can see the cricket just a tad. We don't need that anymore. And I'm going to get ready to put in our, and this shouldn't take that long to cut. It's not really a large design. Hey, Angel Boo. Angel Girl. <laughs> Angel. My home girl is a hot mess. Okay, now it's gonna get ready to cut through. <laughs> home girl is a hot mess. A hot one. Alright. So, if you guys have any questions about anything, feel free to ask your questions. Hey, Miss Becky. Oh, Tiana, do you know like when you sign into YouTube, sometimes at the top, if you click on like your your profile picture, if you can go down to um, purchases and um, subscriptions or purchases and memberships, or it says something like that, see if if that will help you um, get to to where you need to be. I'm not sure. Hey, SJ Braggs, welcome in. Hey Jennifer Hancock. Hey girl. Gil McGinnis. Hey Miss Willie Roseman. Hey Lisa and Stephanie. And thanks to all of y'all who helped the girl out when she forgot that Cricket's matless material is called um, smart material. <laughs> like how did I forget that? that that was crazy that was crazy it was so I didn't know if I didn't hear if you guys want to do like another zoom a zoomy um situation for the members if you want to do like a zoomy thing for this and we could make it'll probably be just this patch I don't know how this weekend will look for me um I know how this weekend looks for me but y'all guess what your girl will be on spring break Marilyn's on spring break Marilyn you could have came on here with me tonight because you're on spring break you don't have to get up in the morning Marilyn said yes to another zoom another patch zoom okay we'll do earlier a patch zoom with everybody or you just want to hang out with me on a zoom and we make patches you know we can do that too we could do that too. Hey, Mrs. JD. So the next thing we're going to cut is we're going to cut the puff out. OK? 
okay? And for my puff, I usually just use the same, um, I usually use the same setting for glitter, okay? Now, granted, I've uh, been cutting out a lot with the Romeo, but I use my Cricut often, um, especially at work because we don't have a Romeo at at work. Um, I'm trying to convince Terrell to bring his Romeo in, but he he may actually like using it now. So I can't um, make him do that. Can't make him do that. All right, so now I'm just gonna, oh, I'm actually going to cut it from this way because because so the glitter H the glitter this is puff this is puff right but it's not um 12 inches wide it's only 10 see the, the roll is pretty short so for any of you who like may want to do puff and you get in you're like hey that doesn't look like that's a full roll it is actually 10 inches which is um uh, I'll keep my opinion to myself about that. Like a lot of companies do that. I know like Tech Wrap um, does this, and this is Walla Cut a uh, Gold Metallic Puff. We're gonna go with like a pot of gold type of appeal today. It's gonna be gold on top of gold. We don't see how that's gonna look. If it don't look good, Delanda will tell me. <laughs> if it doesn't look good, she will tell me. Mm -mm, Patrice, mm -mm. Mm -mm, that's not it Patrice so let's get ready and we're going to cut this out now I already have it it's lighting up it shouldn't take us that long and I actually ended up clicking onto the purple because I, I changed orders I changed orders all right, y'all. So let me see what you guys are saying. So I'm thinking that this green, what green do you guys like best? Do you like the brighter green, like the lime green, or this green? I do have like a puff green, but it's dark. And I don't necessarily know if I want to use the puff green. Um, because it's so dark, I need something to pop out of the, all that gold I'm using. So what do you guys think? Lime green. Oh, Jesse said it first. Okay, Jesse, lime green. I'm coming lime green. Need to to turn. All right, and this is Easy Weed Lime Green that I got from um, Heat Transfer Warehouse. And this is not even. It's already done. I should already have this cut out. It's already it's already done. Let me unload the mat. Alright. And so now we're going to cut the curly cover and it's about five inches. So let me take this off. Sorry, I'm in your face. So I didn't use, you know, the whole piece. So I am definitely going to cut this and save it, okay? I also might want to cut the inside of that other little part out because you never know. I don't always do large designs. So we have both of these and we're going to get ready to weed in a minute. Do y'all like doing HTV projects? Because if you do, like if you want to, if you want to do more HTV projects like this, um, let me know. Because we can totally do it. I know that I wanted to make um, this using like a keychain with um, our lasers. So that's also an option. But if y'all like doing HTV projects, let me know. But I know there's a lot of people who are new and they don't really no um or they're learning not necessarily, not necessarily that you don't know they're learning and also know that Cricut has like Cricut Learn where you can actually go on and learn 
some of these processes too. That wasn't the correct way to put it, to bring it down, but that's what we did. I don't know where my prayer is. Oh, my prayer is over there, y'all. Over there on the wall. Looking at me like, you never use me anymore. You don't, you don't use me anymore. So. Alright, I'm just cutting. I don't have my slicer, so my cut is a hot mess, but it's fine. It's fine. The vinyl's fine. No vinyl got harmed in this process. Alright, so we're just going to do this on regular everyday iron-on, the easy weed. And I'm ready to place this inside. Alright, so we're going to get ready to start weeding our vinyl. Tiana says she's an HTV girl. So what I'm wearing today, okay, so we have a few people who love a Miss Sharon Davenport, who's also the bland queen. She loves okay, so we'll do some more HTV projects. We'll definitely add some HTV projects into rotation. So I was looking at some of my older lives to see what I did like before i got caught up in the rapture of bling and we used to do some fun things like we used to work with like the h we used to work with like a lot of sublimation like some of the sublimation products um and i actually do have a, a sublimation set or box that i purchased from amazon we could work on on some things like that we used to make oh i want to do y'all sorry done. i want to do a pen like, I don't know if you guys remember when we made the pens, and it's going to be, like, teacher appreciation soon, Mother's Day. So maybe we'll make, like, a journal. Remember that time we did um, the journal, but we did not a journal, a notebook that we purchased from the Dollar Tree. And we just changed the cover of it, and we used our Cricut to do that. So there's a, quite a few things that we could do. Um... And I do want to do that. At first I was going to do that. And I was like, no, 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 let's do H. Let's do sublimation versus DTF. Because a lot of people have questions. And there's a lot of people who are interested in getting into it. I just need to know what it entails. Alright, where's the... Where did I put the... Oh, I put it over here. I need to put my cover back on here. Alright, let's pull up this right back down. <laughs> Mary Bear, you want to do some HTV with me? You want to you wanna channel your inner HTV? Let me know. Hello, Queen Spider. Alright, so now we're just going to take this. And I know I said that I wanted to keep the inside of this puff because this gold puff is so pretty. But I don't know. We're gonna we just gonna get rid of it. That's not ugly. That's not too too sharp. And I'm gonna bring the cup. Let me see what you guys are saying. I can see it better here now. You too didn't see. My lean uses 95% HTV, like HTV 95% in her projects, but 95% of the time. Yo, this is so. Look at this. I still could keep the. I still could keep it. It's just something about this HTV that I don't want to throw away. Especially right now when I'm about to rip this whole center off. I could use that to make some hearts. Like you can totally use this. Still. But it's just so nice. Like I love the metallic HTV. Rondria, yes, I want to do the vending machine. We can do it live. I'm, I'll probably do a tutorial with it too because I need to make, my plan is to make 10 of them um, because my cousin, she's having a party. And so y'all will probably see soon like me doing um, some chip bags and things like that to go inside of the vending machine. And then I could do like, you know, I could do a tutorial to show it for people who don't necessarily want to hear me ramble about everything. And then we could do it live, like a live tutorial. If anybody wants to do one too, you can get the materials. 
but I am thinking of um, probably doing them multiple ways you know with the foam board I have tons of foam board but with foam board and then also with um, my laser so I can cut out like either wood like something that's that would last a little longer um, but the foam board is gonna last just as long too it'll, it'll, it's sturdy but I was thinking of maybe doing something like that and I also I like I, I have all the supplies for it. like the foam board I already had um, of course I was just thinking of how I would want to do it do I want to print it out um, and then sub on top of something or do I want to do a uh, sticker paper I just don't want to have to be gluing all that stuff like that that's a lot of blue or whatever so that, that lime green is going to look so pretty in all this gold that's a great, a great suggestion so I'll probably do okay what will it put probably if you put it back on I think so I think it should Angel y'all know Angel is the um the puff master Angel have you used puff that's not um that you you know weeded off of the the carrier because the puff carrier isn't that sticky but this is actually sticky so maybe I could just use this um and stick it back onto here when I get ready to reuse it, maybe something like that would work. As in where to find the design on your shirt. Oh, this design, this design, okay, so the this says powerful. This design was available for my group, for my, um, not my group, for my um, bling box um, subscribers. I am going to make the SVG available, so give me maybe like until tomorrow, and I will upload the SVG, not the bling version. This is the bling version, y'all. Y'all know I'll be ready to, let me switch over really quick. So inside of the bling box, and I know I've, I haven't really did a very, very thorough um, live on the bling boxes, but this is the bling, this is what we made for March uh, for the bling box and this design is only available inside of the bling box I don't um, sell the template for this in fact everybody who gets a bling box they get a, a hard they, they get the actual template not the digital file um, so I don't the digital file is only located on my external hard drive and so I don't necessarily give it away but I did tell them that it's you know Women's History Month, and I do want to make this version available, the SVG version. So I will put it, I will list it, um, just give me a little bit of time, hopefully by tomorrow afternoon, um, I can have it listed. I know we're going to be kind of a little busy tomorrow, but I'll probably have it listed. And I think, yeah. I think so I should I should be able to hey Evie welcome to if you are a if you are an extreme bling box um, subscriber then you have access to the Google Drive and I think Terrell said he's gonna be sending it out to m tomorrow you will be able to get the SVG version of it too. Which y'all saw my cute cup. Can I show y'all my I had to drink out of this cup. Now it was I was either gonna drink out of this cup or the Londa's Faith in God cup that I made like a month or two ago, which is so cute. It is so cute. So it's gonna be either either that cup or this cup. And I figured since I had this shirt on, I will drink out of that cup. And then I will probably just, um, when I wear Delanda's Faith in God shirt that I made, I will drink out of that cup. So, which would be sooner than later? Because I don't think Delanda's coming on tomorrow. And if she's not coming on tomorrow, I think I'm going to come on tomorrow night. Or maybe Marilyn. Maybe I'll drag Marilyn on. Because we need to be Marilyn. Y'all, Marilyn's been promising me that she's gonna make candles with me and she don't make it. She don't even, 
she don't even do it. So I don't even know what to do with her anymore. Y'all, I cannot, am I the only one who like cannot throw away their Caesar Glitter HCV? Y'all, when I tell y'all I will reuse this and cut it up and find a place to use, I love Caesar Glitter HTV. Hey, Tarika. Welcome in. Hey, Maritza. Okay, can we still purchase the March Queen box? Unfortunately, Old School Kimball, no, it's not. It's not available anymore. So, now we're working on April. April is available. Now we're working on the April Bling box. No, no, no. Yeah, we're working on the April Bling box. But the April Bling, Bling box is also closed right now. So, the next available Bling box is for May. Um because we have to cut it off so that I'll know like exactly what we need for it um, for those boxes because a lot we don't have extra of, of a lot of the things all right so let me I'm gonna remove this for now and we are going to head over to our little HTV run y'all gotta find my other thing so we could do um I can't even see if you guys could even see the little HTV run because I hope y'all can see it Okay, you can probably see it a little bit. Let's see. Hope you can see it. Hope you can. All right, let me get another pressing pad. And I think I just have my Cricut pressing pad. I don't think I have them all. We're going to see how this is going to work with um, our, our vinyl. And I'm going to bring you guys over. Don't pay attention to my little messy um, heat press because I have not been um, really a packing person lately. So don't, don't be judgy. But we're using our HTV Launch Auto Press today. I have it set at 325 for 25 degrees because I always have it set at 325 for 325 degrees. But today we're going to keep it there. Oh, not for the puff. For the puff, I'm going to have to to cool it down some to like two, 280. Okay. But we're going to go ahead and press the, the glitter on here first. Oh, y'all know what I forgot? Nobody reminded me. I didn't even take out the insides of luck, did I? I didn't. I gotta take that out really quick. The L and the C. Hold on, you scroll up. Hey, Sylvia. Hey, Lolo. Anybody that came in that I didn't see? Hey, everyone. Welcome in. Hey, Miss Ethel. All right, let me. Evie, you finally got your box. I was like, I cannot believe the United States Postal Service. This a mess. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. You always wanna make sure you lint roll your items. Always lint roll. Lint rolling is your best friend. And why you lint roll is because you don't want anything. There may be hair, there may, may be other small fibers, there may be dust, anything on your shirts. And you don't want that to go in between your HTV and the adhesive pressing onto your shirt, okay? You wanna make sure for longevity, you wanna make sure that you always that you always lint roll and I always do like to pre-press my shirts okay so we're going to now place this here and I'm just going to bring this back here just so I can see it and with this particular um, heat press it really does need to be free and clear of anything that can push it push your shirt or like how you guys see here it may be a little bit crinkly you want to make sure that it's free to to push in and push out without anything preventing it from from doing it 
smoothly, okay? So, oh, no, I forgot to take my inside of the A out. There we go. All right, that was good. All right, so I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna use four fingers for this shirt. Usually I use between three and four fingers, depending on how I feel, but today we're gonna use four fingers. And it's looking good. All right. And then we're also going to press our next part. So with layering, I kind of like to layer from outward in. So that way um, you have the full size of the design. And then, you know, you're not trying to put down this 4 leaf clover first and then press it and then realize, hey, you know, it's just now it's not going to work at all because the 4 leaf clover is too close to the armpit. All right, so we're gonna bring this out. I'm just gonna let it cool down for a little second. Let you see that a little bit better. Dimsy tell nephew, I said congratulations. So Janet, no, you don't have to pre-wash shirts, the shirts first. I don't pre-wash the shirts. And the reason why you don't necessarily want to do that is because you don't really want the detergent, the chemicals and the detergent in the shirt because sometimes that could prevent it from pressing um, correctly. So I don't, I don't usually do that. The cover from the heat press, just type in um, 15 by 15 Teflon uh, heat press, uh, Teflon cover for heat press and it'll come up on Amazon. I use these Teflon covers. If you guys saw my my uh, fancier studio over here, I have a cover on that. My my, my uh, heat presses that I have my, at work, I use a Teflon cover. I love it. It protects me from so much, from so much. Even if you had something like, if you were doing sublimation and just by chance, you didn't have the butcher paper on top, I mean, you're gonna ruin your Teflon cover, but at least you didn't get that on your top platen, right? At least that's how I look at it. So now we're just gonna bring this up right here and this is how we're gonna layer it. I kinda already know. A good thing to do is to look at your um, picture on the computer based off, you know, the design so you'll know exactly how to place it. I do know because I created it that I created an offset around it so I know not to put this like right here, not to try to put it so close. I know that there's supposed to be a nice amount of space around it. And then that helps me put it exactly how it should be. So you guys see, like that's how it goes. Just like that. All right, so now I'm gonna press it again. But this Glitter HTV Caesar never disappoints with their Glitter HTV, ever. So Lolo, this is a, a Teflon cover. It can come off if I wanted to, but it protects my heat press. Also, I don't have to worry about getting a Teflon sheet every single time to put on top of the design. If I need to press it, it already has a Teflon cover. But it's not for, for sublimation, you still need to put your, um, if you guys are into sublimation, you still need to put your, um, your, Put your paper on top. Memory is bad today, y'all. All right, so we're gonna do this at 280. Um, I'm gonna change the time to eight seconds, and then we'll have to redo this. We'll we have to do the. Well, I'll do it to nine. We'll we have we'll have to redo the time and temp when we get ready to do the rhinestones, but that's gonna be in a few minutes. Okay. So right now, I'm gonna see if this is good to peel. It is. All right, Jesse, I like the lime green. That looks good. All right, let me put this. We're done with this. Well, this stuff will stay on like this until tomorrow. And then we have, I'm gonna, it's cooling down. It doesn't take long, but this is what we have so far. And I think it looks good. I think it looks very good, all right? So I can get ready. Let me get my extra pad for the inside. So I have this Cricut pad. Oop, 
I have this Cricut pad to kind of help me with a little bit more pressure. So we're going to see if this is going to work. We're going to see if this will work. Hopefully it will. All right. When I'm at work and I use like another pad on the Revore Auto Press, it works just fine. It puffs up really good. But I don't know. I haven't done this with the with this one just yet. This is the first time that I'm trying because honestly I never do um I never care to do any um puff with the Revore. Well not with the H C B Ront. With the Revore, yes. But with the H C B Ront I don't really care to do it. Alright, so we're gonna put this in and we're gonna get a little bit of gold. This is another way of layering because you can't just layer HTV on top of glitter and sometimes it's good to put a slight offset around it but I'm just going to match this up as best as I can and then this is going to put for us now I am going to tape it with a little bit of heat resistant tape but I don't want it to move uh oh. Uh oh. The dust is so junky. <laughs> the dust is so junky. I don't want it to move. So I'm just going to put this just like this. And I'm going to tape it down. And then I'm going to tape the other side. Now, I'm doing that because if you notice, I didn't really do that with the green, with the uh, clover, because the carrier sheet for the clover was actually very sticky. It was actually very sticky, so I didn't have to do it. So let me see if the time is good. Okay, so I have five more seconds, and then we're going to push this in. So this is like a little four-leaf clover and a pot of gold, all this gold. All right, we have a few more seconds. Let's see if I missed any questions. Thank you, Rondria. I'm not putting a black outline on this one. I'm doing a gold glitter outline on this one. Hey, Miss Carol Coleman. Yeah, I didn't do a black outline. Thank you, Mary. Thanks, Yvonne. Thank you, that about pre wash for those of us in the men. <laughs> yeah, so if you pre wash, what happens is, is that you don't really want the extra chemicals from the shirt, from the detergent and everything inside of your shirts before you press your design on it now once you put your design on it and you're good to go then if you want to pre like wash your shirt before you wear it you can I would wait at least 24 to 48 hours before I throw it in the washer just to let make sure that that adhesive um, from the HTV is nice and good on your shirt but you can wash it then but before placing designs I never pre-wash my shirts before um all right we want to see how this goes i never pre-wash my shirts before um before that so before i, I do the design hey paulette hey barb all right so that went so let's see all right so i think with this one i gotta take it up again i gotta Remove the backing, if I remember correctly, because this is the metallic. It don't look puffy at all, y'all. It don't look puffy at all. It still looks a little shiny. So I'm gonna remove it now, and then we're gonna we're gonna press it one more time to see, because it's still giving me a lot of shine. Now, if y'all see that, it's giving me a, a lot, a lot of shine. Now that still looks good, though. I think I want to add another piece. Let's try it again. So this one you do have to go twice. It does require two presses. But we're gonna see. Where's Angel at to help a, a girl out? Alright, let's see. What do we have? Did it pop up? It popped up, but it looked a little burnt. I might want to do it again. So it did puff, but it looks a little burnt. Like a little, it looks a little too puff. It ain't smooth like how I usually get it done with my regular heat press, but it doesn't, 
I guess it actually looks like some gold nuggets, huh? But now it's puffed though. I don't know if y'all can see it. It is definitely puffed. It is puffed up. It's not too bad. I could go through again and press it one more time, but I don't think I really want to press it one more time. I'm going to bring it over to the front so y'all can see it. Now let me change this time because we're going to get ready to brush in uh, our design using colors that I never usually use. All right. Let me move, remove the table. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. Oh. so this is what we have now it puffed up good I think it puffed up great actually but my C looks a little nuggety like like a gold nugget it's like a pot of gold oh, oh sorry y'all missed it hey Kristen thanks D hey Lana Hey, Miss Joy. Hey, everybody just coming in. But this is what we have. So we have the glitter around the edge and then up here. And then we have our little green four leaf clover. But overall, I like I like it. And it puffed really, really good. It's just my little C look a little special. But it's okay. The L is perfect. The K is perfect. Just my little C. I could probably go over and press it one more time. But we're going to leave it like this. Okay? So that's it for this one. And now we're going to get ready to brush in the template so that we can make our second bling shirt and hopefully be done by 10. That's my goal, y'all. That is the goal. Okay? So it's good. My tea got a little cool. But it's okay. Hey, DB. Um, Judy. Oh, thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Wano. I always stay puffy after washing. I haven't had any problems with my puff. Only one puff. I can't even remember which brand it was. It didn't hold up that well for me. But for the most part, uh oh, I didn't even get a brush. Let me get a brush, y'all. For the most part, I haven't had any major issues with um with the puff puffing or the puff staying puffed up when I wash it. Right, I'm gonna bring guys over to the table. Let's see if I miss anything yet. And thanks for being here, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks, everybody. All right, so I'm going to add back to stage. This is our template that we're going to be using. It's the same exact template um, that we're going to be using. And I really wish... Nobody reminded me to cut out the inside of Blessed. Because it's not... I, it was just the one... It wasn't the ombre, so it wasn't going to you know, be too long, but nobody reminded me. I've had a horrible time with my um, Cricut, my Cricut maker. All right, I'm gonna move my cup over here, cause, all right. So I know already that I wanna do the outline in gold emerald metal lights, which is absolutely stunning. So that's what I want to use. Kristen, did it fall off the shirt? All right, and so we have, I have a little bit of green flame. I have hair dots. And then I also have, I have, I think that's silver emerald. I have gold green zircon. And then I have silver peridot. But I'm going to go with the gold and green theme because, of course, you know, St. Patrick's Day. Me too. Thank you, Juana. All right, so other colors we have here for gold, for um, green, 
and these are colors that I don't use often so if you notice I don't have a lot of these colors I don't use often I only have green flame and peridot in a large quantity okay so this is chrysolite well I have chrysolite in SS6 so some of these greens I do have in SS6 like olivine and stuff like that this is winter green we have winter green chrysolite this is green zircon I don't necessarily want green zircon for this one and then we have um, I have regular emerald I have another emerald another emerald I must have every time I get an emerald I think like I don't have emerald so I just add an emerald and then we have olivine so and then I also have like a green neon green too yep i will yes sheila i will be adding the svg to um the site probably tomorrow if not tonight depending on how fast i can brush this in um but yeah so i'm gonna do luck in i'm gonna do luck in gold emerald metal light right and then I think I want to do, I may do that in a different color. We're going to see how that's going to look, okay? So let's do luck, the outline of luck. Now I want to do different colors of, uh oh, it looks like I'm missing a hole. Like I didn't get a dot right here. I didn't. Uh, this is what I need to do this. All right. I don't know if you guys can really see that good, but I'm going to bring this down. And then I'm just going to add some more of the gold. And this is so pretty. These are the stones. This is the gold uh, emerald metalite. It has a gold rim around it with an emerald center. Super pretty. Well, Kristen, I don't see anything wrong with Peridot either. I'm an August girl too. But I don't see anything wrong with with peridot that is my birthstone all right so i'm just going to now for those of you who are watching who may be new what i'm doing now is brushing in a rhinestone template um we use flock to get this done this is on a dollar tree cutting mat which makes this last forever i could use this template as many times as i want to use this template i'm not limited to just one time um, so flop can be pretty pricey, but it's long lasting. It's not like vinyl where you can use it one time and you're pretty much done. All right, so I don't want the gold emerald metal light to be at the bottom. So we're going to kind of just play around with the design so that I don't get it where I don't want it to be. Brushing in pretty smoothly. And again, this design is the SS10. So if you want it, this design is available on my website. Uh, you can get, if you get the rhinestone template, you'll be able to also get the SCG version. But yeah, and also if you don't want the rhinestone template, because I am aware that everybody does not do bling. And some of y'all just like to see it, but not necessarily want to do it. But you might want the SVG file. It is available inside of my on my website. Uh oh, I think I'm missing another dot. Hey, Nomi. Alright, so let me, it's usually best to make sure you have all your flock dots out beforehand. Because <laughs> you don't want to have to take them out mid-brush. You don't want to do that. Alright, so all of those are in and the 
gold emerald is so pretty. Alright, let me push this here. And I'm gonna put this right here. And I'm just putting these back. Make sure that you if you're doing rhinestones, if you're just getting started, make sure every time you move to a new color, before you open up that new color, go ahead and replace the unused rhinestones back um, inside of its container, okay? Make sure, and these are hot fix rhinestones, not um, not flat back. You don't have to add any extra glue to it. These are rhinestones from the baby's booty. These are hot fix rhinestones. Those are stones that she sells in bulk and or um, and or retail smaller quantities. So if you are interested, definitely check her out. So for the bottom, we're gonna try to go with all green, right? So for the bottom, I think we're going to go with olivine. We have wintergreen. I don't necessarily think I want chrysolite. We have wintergreen, we have peridot, and olivine. Olivine is actually one of my favorite greens. Olivine is one of my favorite greens, but I think, I think I'm gonna go with peridot. I used to use peridot a lot when I started like playing around with colors um, with rhinestones and then I kind of moved away from Peridot when Evie started introducing all these other magnificent colors but Peridot does have a special place in my heart and we're going to use it we are going to use Peridot saying something. I don't know once I start brushing I kind of zone out a little bit because it is definitely therapeutic. At least for me. I don't know about y'all but for me it's therapeutic. I think that's why I take my time brushing stones. But eat, but eat is so fast, dims is so fast, and y'all know who else is fast at brushing templates? LaShonda. LaShonda is very fast at brushing in rhinestone templates. And Miss Sharon Davenport. So it's better to kind of, if you're just getting into stoning, it's better to just brush like in circular motions. Because if you notice, as I brush in a circular motion, those stones fill in a lot quicker. I just kind of baby it and do the most. But, uh oh, I have another one out here. I don't want to get, I have another, I didn't get a good, do a good job weeding these. Um, I should have my other one. I didn't do a good job, y'all. Weeding up my fuck dots. My fuck dots. And he said it's sticky. Got it good. Alright. I'm gonna just go back over here. Brush circular motions will do the trick. Delonda was speedy doing them too. But I Delonda she she's speedy. I'm not speedy. I'm slow. Hey Vera. I think I just love, that's why I like spotlighting LaShonda, Miss Gale, because I like looking at her dream box too. That's why I like to spotlight her. It looks so cool and so organized and neat. She did a great job designing it. Good night, Victoria's Creations. And then now we got to do the, okay, so this one brushed in. So now we have gold emerald metal light here. 
Oh my goodness, I missed another. Where's where are my tweezers, y'all? Cause I can't take it getting it out. I how am I? How did I miss these dots? Y'all can't see them, but I can see it right there. All right. All right, that should be good. So every blinger, whether you're doing hot fix hornstones or flat back, you need a wax pen. This is my old crystal katana, and you can use any from from Amazon. They have tons, so I would definitely get from there because you will go through these. At least I know I go through them often. All right, and so I'm just feeling Jesse. Your homegirl's over here, a hot mess. Just why you didn't tell me I had an extra dot here somewhere. It has to be a dot here. Maybe it's right here. Yep, I knew it. I thought I rooted this. I did it. Alright, so now I'm going to put that here. And now we are good to go. That part is good to go, okay? So I'm just going to be very careful. And I'm going to brush all of these stones back into the container. And actually, I'm just going to brush it into the top and then pour it into the container. I don't want to be holding all of those stones like that. And we'll be good to go to the next part. Now, if I wasn't trying to do multiple colors and all of that, this would have been fine. Like I it would have, I would have been able to brush them in a little bit faster. Um, but because I wanted to do that, it took a little more time. All right, let me get the transfer mask so that we could go ahead and apply that. I don't want to get a new piece of transfer tape. All right. Alright y'all, so here is our transfer tape. The shirt, I really like the shirt y'all. It looks really good. Even with my little bumpy C a little bit. So with transfer tape, you have to hold it very carefully. Look how that, that was blinging. And I just kind of fold it up and drop it down. And you can't think about it too much. You can't think about it too much. Oh, the H. Thank you, Corey G. Town and Alice. Kristen, thank you. Hey, Miss Tracy. I'll add one in there. Evie, thank you for the H. All of y'all, thank you for noticing. Kristen, everybody. Y'all know I can't keep, I can't look at the chat too good. All right, so we're going to get ready to peel this back. I kind of use my hands to help to lift it, and hopefully it lifted just fine. And then what I'm going to do is, because that will happen often, um, even sometimes where you may have overlapping rhinestones. So everybody was telling me in the chat about my H that I'm missing. Like It, it, it looks off, right? Um, and they can see it on the chat and it's just amazing how um, I can't see something I can't see a lot of things a lot of times but everybody in the chat can see it so I appreciate that and what we're gonna do now is we are just going to simply all I did was take one of the stones out I flipped it over and with that H I'm going to just place the stone right there in that opening because a rhinestone does go there uh -oh. My crystal katana needs to be shaved a little bit. I need a new tip. I should have just picked up one of my other ones, but this is usually my go-to. So I'm going to put this right there. And then it'll be like nothing is missing. All right. So I'm just going to take the backing and place it back on top. Again, when you're doing your designing, you're brushing it in, you just want to make sure that you scan your rhinestones make sure that all the rhinestones are coated you shouldn't see anything shiny if you see any uh, a, ba a shiny backing that means that there is no adhesive on 
on those stones okay so then that's you will have to remove that stone and place another one like how I just replaced that one where the H was right so now we're going to go ahead and press this down and we're gonna be good to go all right so we have one of the parts of the design okay so next uh oh I don't want it to cut off on me let me move this over here and move this and I'll have everything where it needs to be. I just don't want this to fall off the table. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of stuff going on over here. All that trash, I did all that, the HTV that I weeded, I just put it over there. All right, so now we're going to flip it over and now this is, we're going to do this, um, this part. So for this part, I think I want to use maybe winter green for what's right so let's go ahead and use winter green for what's and then for the word luck we're going to use green flame okay i'm just gonna brush that in like that i think I don't think I'm missing any dots here, but we'll see. And then I'm just trying to be careful not to get it into the L, the C, and the K. But if you want and you don't really feel comfortable brushing it in when you're going to be using two different colors like this with it exposed, you can put a painter's tape on top and then you won't have to worry about it. Here, I just got to be a little bit careful, so it's going to be fine. And even if one pops in, like it just did with the K, that's fine too, y'all. But the goal is to get most of the rhinestone holes filled in. That is the goal, to get those filled in. You don't want to have to hand place them. Unless you're like Miss Janita and you just like to hand place them. I'm not necessarily a girl who likes to hand place her rhinestones. Unless I'm working with flat back. Alright, so those are in. No, we're almost done. We are almost done. Alright, we got this. And I am going to... But what are we going to fill that clover in with? What color? Because I've already used... I should have used bare top for it. Because I've already used most of the greens I have. Alright. We have a few more greens. If we, oh, maybe we could do crystal light and give it a nice border. Maybe crystal light. I didn't want to use crystal light at first, but maybe crystal light. So let's get ready. We're gonna use a blue flame for the L, the C, no, the green flame for the L, the C, and the K. Now, green flame is what's gonna give us a lot of colors. And if you weren't here earlier, I'm just I'm using stones tonight that I don't usually use. Green is not really my color, but of course for St. Patrick's Day, you know, it's an appropriate color. But I just decided to use all colors that I rarely ever use. And some of these colors I actually love. Like green flame, look how pretty y'all. Wait until y'all see this brushing. Like the green flame is just so gorgeous. Let's see. And once we get ready, like you get green, but you also have a little purple. You, you have several different colors in here. But you get the green at certain angles though not it's not all at once it almost reminds me of like a peacock this and green blue flame there's green flame and blue flame they both have that that same look it reminds me of like a peacock I 
see. I've mixed some of my stones, y'all. That's why you see me taking some out because I can tell that the stone is not the right color. So, I don't want that because honestly, when you're brushing in your, like when you wear your shirt and stuff, you can tell that little color, um, maybe just because I know. <laughs> But there's been times I've made a shirt and there's been another color inside of it. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, you didn't see that when you were pressing it. Jesse didn't see it when you were brushing. And then I'm like, oh, maybe Jesse, Jesse probably wasn't there that night. He probably stepped away. Because, mm -mm. Oh, this the green flame, y'all. It's so gorgeous. Thanks, Mirror Bear. Yes, this looks so good. That is so good. trying to not have to hand place too many that's how you see me going over the ones that are not filled and just brushing it in but you may have to fill a few in all right so I do have a few that I need to fill in so I'm just going to take my handy dandy wax pen and just fill those in really quick dropped off on and that's because I need a new a tip for this wax pen. And then you also always want to check for overlapping rhinestones and because overlapping rhinestones could definitely um, cause parts of your your stones not to press. Alright? So I see one I got one right here. And then I'm just gonna lightly Put my hand over the letters. This is something that I always see Eve doing, and this is just to help feel any stones that are extra and overlapping within the design. But that looks so good. If you guys look at this now, so you guys see like these two look a certain color, and this one looks green on camera. That's how this stone works. It's not considered an AB stone. If you guys have heard us talk about AB stones, it kind of gives you um, the AB look, right? But it's not considered an AB stone. It doesn't have the, the coating on top, the AB coating. All right, so we're gonna get ready and we're going to, we have, all we have to do now is decide what colors we're gonna do our covers and the outlines and we're gonna be ready to press. We are going to be ready to press. But this green flame is, whoa. Absolutely love it. All right. Let me put my top on. Always put your, your rubber bands on. And I don't have a link to a site. She just ended the buy-in for this month. Um, and the next buy-in will be available in a few weeks if you missed out on it. Hopefully you didn't. But let me get another piece of I will have a link so if you're catching the replay or if you want to you know if you want to come back and see anything that we did or if you just want to come back to check the description um, a little bit later it will be there all the information will be there I think this transfer tape is too old but I'm still gonna use it I could tell that it's too old and I still did it but it's okay March 28th so Sheila has the next buy-in dates March 28th through the 7th and I will have a link to the buy-in, but I'll also have a link listed to the Hot Fix Fix store 
is where if you don't want to get bulk or if you can't wait because sometimes you need stones right away um, you can get them a little quicker if she has the colors in stock okay at retail cost And the K, um, there was an extra one in the K, and I removed it. So I, I, right now, it's probably it's probably gone. Yeah, oh no, yeah, oh no, they're they are close. They are very close. But there was one an extra one in the K that I moved. Thanks, Miss Janita. Miss Janita, you you Miss Janita and and. Jesse, they were the ones who used to keep, especially early on, y'all, when I, when I didn't know how to really be meticulous with, um, brushing and everything, and I would have, like, a lot of extra stones, um, within the design, I've gotten a lot better, um, with that, um, but back in 2022, <laughs> back in the day, and still now, <laughs> but really back in the day, I used to be a hot mess with these rhinestones. I just had to do it, but I didn't really have the patience to really take my time and do it. Like, I just wanted to do it. Look, see, I hit it. I hit this one. So I'm just going to take my little wax pen and flip it back over. That was my error. So we're going to layer. We're going to see about layering this design too. This design it really isn't a difficult design to layer um, but it can still be a little bit intimidating coming from doing only uh, single layer designs especially rhinestone designs. It can be a little bit much so I do want to oh y'all that's so pretty I cannot wait for y'all to see that. Alright so now we need to brush in our clover we have an outline and we also have the fill. Hey, Mama Vi. Anybody I missed? Hey, everyone. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Everybody in the bushes. Hey, y'all. Oh, we have silver peridot, but no silver. We don't have gold peridot. Is there a gold peridot now? Or there's no gold peridot? Because... Hmm, I don't really think I want to use emerald though. You know what, I said maybe chrysolite? Chrysolite with what? I got olivine. I don't necessarily want to use... Um, Maybe I'm just going to go ahead and use Orum. I'm going to bring in a color that you guys are very familiar with. But it's okay. Oh, but it's, that Orum is going to be right next to the... It's going to be fine. So we're going to use Orum. <laughs> I had to bring in a familiar color to help me out in this situation, y'all. I need something to really help me out. So the Orum is going to help me out. Okay. And orm is like a gold color. So the orm is just going to be the outline of the clover. And then I'm going to probably use, well, I like crystal white for it. It's a lighter green. I think we're going to go with crystal white because we're going to go with crystal white because everything else like around it is a darker color. Like I have the gold emerald i have the green flame and then the orum so i think the crystal light is light enough to like really stand out against all those dark colors so we're going to use crystal light it's a like it's a lighter tone it's going to bring that area of the shirt down a little bit so that's what we're going to do And I need to hurry up and get this done so I can hurry up and put it in Delanda's box because y'all know she's been talking about the box and that I just need to pack her stuff up. So I need to hurry up. Oh, she didn't get it. 
Oh, that looks so good already. I like that. So if you do something like this, you don't even have to have the fill if you don't want it. You could just have the outline um, if that's enough for you. So now we're going to move into, we're going to do chrysolite. Let me just go ahead and grab a piece of um, transfer tape. And we will see. Um, hey, Carrie. Hey, we set from Illinois. Welcome. All right, let me grab two pieces. I'm going to cut this up. It's not sticky, but y'all know I like to live on the edge. So, we're just going to go with it, right? I can't believe I didn't use olivine. I love olivine. I can't believe I didn't use it in my green situation tonight, but it's okay. All right. I should have turned it the other way, but it's okay. So, so we're just going to go ahead and get this here. What's really easy? I didn't know you could see. And Sheila, if that box is going to be huge. It's going to be huge. It is. Like, I don't even know how much, like, that's going to cost me. Like, I'm going to have to drive it for this. That's going to cost a lot. Okay, so... I had an extra stone right there, and I know I saw it, but I wasn't sure, but I did have an extra stone. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and peel that up. And here we go. All right, we got one more part to brush in. We're gonna do that with the chrysolite, and y'all, we are done. Considering I started at about 8 o'clock, we were in good time. So I started late, of course, for the usual. All right, this is chrysolite. And chrysolite is like very glassy, like, but it has like that green in it, like a very nice soft green. I think that's going to be perfect for the inside. Devonda Patrice. <laughs> Not the end. Don't leave nothing out of my box. <laughs> Thank you, Delonda. You're a hot mess. A hot mess, y'all. She's a hot mess. All right. So we're going <laughs> to... Don't leave nothing out of my... And I can hear her saying that. Uh-uh. Alright, we're gonna keep brushing and we're almost done. Now see how fast it goes when you brush like this? Look. And instead of brushing like how I usually brush, like very slowly, and I wanna brush in one letter at a time. Like I don't know why. But pray for me y'all. Because I don't know why. I like to do it like that. All right, so our clover is done. And that clover looks mighty good, y'all. Clover looks really good. <laughs> Evie, you know it's going to weigh more. All this stuff in this box. Thank you, Evie. And y'all hear y'all can hear the bell tonight. Y'all can hear the bell. Yes. Because I had to go in and take off um, the background noise reduction option. I just be trying to think of y'all when I'm doing the, um, when I have Brody going. Because Brody is so loud. And especially when I have Brody going and like we're all on together. I don't want to like distract everybody because of the noise. So... That's why, y'all. That's why. 
Alright, so we're going to get ready and press this down. And there we go. <laughs> now Eve, Eve got to add to the box too. <laughs> Eve, you gotta add to can some candy apple to the box. Alright, so I usually just use my hands, my fingers to do this. And if the transfer tape is good, it's gonna come right up. But I also reuse a lot of my transfer tape, so it's not always good. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put this here. And we're gonna get ready to press it and we probably won't be back at the table i gotta show y'all my so y'all i gotta show y'all this again because i don't know if you guys know but i absolutely love this patch but i have a lot of work to go back in um i think it was just brody's acting up like my trim has been off a lot with it trimming um the thread and i think that's mostly the problem but i also want to make sure that the the satin stitch around the words that it's a lot thicker but overall I like it and we're gonna do a members um a members live on zoom not sure which one but one of them it's live or zoom and we'll do it together all right so I'm gonna actually bring you guys over to the press today and we're going to do this press as you see we do it table and I really took you guys over to the actual group press but today we're going to do a little bit of a field trip. Okay. All my sound went out. Why did the sound go out? Uh oh. What happened? I don't even have the mic on. I don't have my regular, regular mic on. Why the sound is low? Is it still low? If not, we just gonna press the shirt. And go. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh my God! The club making rhymes. She's making rhymes the other day. because I'm all the way over here. That's why. That's why. Because I don't have the other mic. I don't have my mic on today. So I'm going to take uh, these three you guys into here. All right. Hopefully you all will see that. Okay. I'm pray that you see it. Oh, let me make that bigger. We're gonna pray that you see this. Alright, so let's go ahead and let roll. There is there was like a lot of lint on here. I can see it. Very important in the process. Alright, so let's go ahead and give that a nice little pre press. <laughs> oh, Delonda. Did you take a nap today? Alright, so we're going to get ready and we're going to press this layer, right? But this is the layer that we're going to press. But I need to make sure that there's enough room above here for the word what, right? So I'm just going to go here and I already know that that's going to be too much. Um, it's up too much, right? So then what I will do is I will go ahead and kind of layer it in like this so that I can see exactly where it's going to go. Okay? And so right now, I have it there. I'm going to move it up just a tad. Just a tad. And then I'm going to use four fingers. This is an extra large shirt. So I think four fingers is, is good. Okay? 
And so now it's time for us to just looking at it, making sure I have it nice and centered. And then now I'm going to peel this back like this. This is how I usually apply the design once I have it placed where I want it to be. And then I kind of just let the transfer tape fall. And then I'll go ahead and remove the back loop that way. And that way I don't have to worry about having to readjust it or getting it wrong. It should be good to go. Okay, so now I'm going to get ready to press. Is it still staticky? Why is it not static? I can't hear nothing. Maybe it's the. Uh, let me know if you guys still hear it. I don't know if I want to get out of it. Let me let me try to change. Is my other mic on? Let me see if the other mic works better while it's waiting. Um, audio. Let me see if I can do. Okay, maybe you guys can hear me now. Let me see. Is it better? Oh, you know what? See, that's what you get. Because every time I keep saying, let me turn on the noise cancellation. Let me turn on. Let's see if that works better. The echo can't. Can, no, the reduced mic. Let's see if that works. Can you guys hear me better now? I had to switch and turn on the echo or the noise cancellation. The Wanda. So let me move this and that's our outline. Everything looks good. I'm excited. Let's, uh -oh, one of the stones in my case. So the thing with having like using old transfer tape is that your rhinestones can shift on old transfer tape. Okay. That's not something you really want. So, especially when it's time to layer, like you, you don't want, and so now we're just layering this inside of the, the outline. And because I'm layering it like this, like it's exactly where it's supposed to be. You see the what, the what's where it's supposed to be. It's exactly where it's supposed to be. Okay. So now we're going to get ready and. Or start again. And then we're going to get ready to layer our four leaf clover. <laughs> what did it sound like I said? <laughs> My goodness, y'all. All right, so here, here we have our cup. And if you y'all see, like you see that green, and then it kind of goes into like a purple, like a lighter shade of a mixture of the green and purple. Like that's depending on how the light hits it, those are the colors that we're gonna get. Okay, so now it's time for us to layer in our last two pieces. And guess what, y'all? We are done. And so this is just like the puff. Like, I'm just going, going to make sure that it lines up where it's supposed to. And it still this has an outline around it, just like the puff did. So we still don't see, like, that area. It's not touching, right? Oh, this looks really good. It looks good. All right, and we have one more press after this. We got one more press. Yeah. All right, so let's get our other part. And this is really pretty much basic layering, not a very difficult, um, designed to layer but if you're ready to move into like different colors and things like that and you don't want to just do one or two color designs then 
look for designs like this that are more so a little bit easier to so the layer. So now we're going to get ready and press the final, the final part. And we're going to put our cover. I think chrysolite was a good choice. So this design is full of grains. There are a lot of grains on this one. I'm going to flip this over to our um to the other camera. Because that other camera just does does something better. This time cam. Ooh. Oh, the FaceTime cam, and y'all also get my phone. Phone's right there too. And this is in poor lighting. Look at the K. Wow. All right, so we're done. And I cannot wait to show y'all this. All right, so let's see. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to stop sharing the heat press. Guess what? We are done. It's 10 04. Perfect timing. Hold on. Let's see. No, it's, it's automatically sent, Sylvia. You don't have to um, reorder. Don't reorder. It's going to be automatically sent. So I'm just going to show you guys the new shirts that we made. So this is the shirt. Sorry for that noise, but the noise cancellation should have gotten it out. Yes, the light is still going on, Kawanda. All right, so this is the one that I made with puff and glitter and the layers. Now my L, I love the L and the K. The C look a little bit touched, but for the most part, I love how it came out. And this is puff final with glitter um, HTV and regular HTV in the center. Now the outline of the word luck that is also a gold glitter um, HTV. So I can't wait. I'm going to take a picture so that you guys can see it. But I love how this came out. No problem. Bo <laughs> she, she just put box. She didn't even put anything else, just box. But this came out so good. The puff looks really good on here. I look I, like I don't have any complaints. And I used it with the HTV raw auto press and y'all know how i was stressing out because i don't usually use the htv run auto press for that all right and here is our bling y'all look at y'all it looks so good i think all the colors work together really well i love how it came out look at that green flame y'all see how the green flame kind of changes colors like the green flame is amazing. So I use for the word what I use winter green for the words at the bottom got to do with it. I used uh, peridot and and for the outline of the word luck I used gold emerald metal light like i don't even know if you guys can even see the metal light and like the green flame is so ridiculous that you cannot even see the metal light and it's rare that another stone will take over a metal light stone it's very rare like it doesn't happen but look how this look y'all this is so pretty look y'all oh look at this is the green flame like you, y'all see the green over here on the L. Y'all see the green on the L, but then look at the K. Like it's so pretty, so pretty. It's definitely the star of of the show. But if you look closer, I'm trying to show y'all the metal light, but the poor metal light don't even stand a chance. When does that happen? It don't happen often. 
It does not happen often. But milk is so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And so for the inside, for the outline of the clover, I used uh, Orm Dorado for the outline of the, of the clover. And then for the inside, I used Chrysolite. It's a lighter green than a Peridot. I think it came out good. What color stone is that? It looks like, so the stone in the center is actually green flame. So you see when I turn it, it, it just, oh, it just turns so, it, it's like dancing. It turns so many different colors. You get a green, you get a purple, you get kind of like a yellowish color, but this came out so, so, so nicely. I absolutely love it. Yes, Miss Gill, definitely giving me a little bit of Mardi Gras. Definitely giving me a little bit of Mardi Gras. But that's those are our shirts. So we have this. Y'all, I love this shirt. I'm going to have to wear this shirt tomorrow. It looks so good. It looks good. I don't want to wear it tomorrow. I'm going to wear it Friday because if I wear it tomorrow, people are going to want the shirt. And this was the other shirt that we did with a bit of puff and glitter and HTV for that clover. So everything turned out good tonight, y'all. Everything, everything worked out well. I love both shirts. Um, I'm thankful that y'all spent some time with me today. And yeah, it was a good Tuesday. It was a very, very good Tuesday. Thank you, Evie. The scale, everybody sharing. Winter green. So y'all want to go over the colors again? Let's go. We'll go over the colors again. Let me get them so that you'll know. We'll go over. We'll go over them again. So the word what is winter green? What what is winter green? Okay. Um, the word luck. There's an outline around luck, and that is uh, gold, emerald, metal light. Okay, there's an outline that's gold, emerald, metal light. The outline around the clover is just orm dorado. Okay, the inside of the L, the C, and the K, that's green flame. And I know y'all like, I was like green flame when I see like purple and all this stuff. It's not an AB stone. It's green flame, okay? And as y'all see, it turned, it just turns so many different colors, but you do get the green in it, okay? Then the inside of the clover is chrysolite. It's chrysolite, okay? That's the inside of, not crystallite like the drink, but chrysolite. <laughs> That's the clover. The bottom part is peridot, which is my birthstone. And y'all, it is so gorgeous. It is so pretty. And I just want to look at it. I want to just look at it. This green flame. Nope. Jesse, green flame is an AB. It's just green flame. I Eve Eve explained before what green flame and blue flame was. I don't remember in detail. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Thing, but she did explain a little bit like what but it's not technically an a b stone thank you Kristen, and everybody for naming the colors i appreciate it and listing it in the chat it's a multicolor stone thank you gail i appreciate y'all so much kevin no hey kevin I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys, but guess what? I gotta get up and go and teach people's kids. Yeah, that's what people's teachers say, people's kids. But I gotta go tomorrow. Um, we have a pretty big day. We have some visitors coming to the school. So I do want to make sure I get up and get a little bit early. I haven't really been um cruising the halls at the school um lately but um yeah i still may have to go inside and 
do some things tomorrow. So I need to get some rest. And I love you guys. I appreciate every single second you spend with me. Whether it's for five minutes, whether it's for the entire time, your time is valuable and I appreciate whatever time you give to me by watching what I do. I hope you were able to learn something from what I was doing. Um, and I hope you had fun while you were here. Please remember to be kind to people. Be nice. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't cost you to be nice at all. It doesn't cost anything to smile at somebody. That one smile that you give to somebody might be their only smile for that day. Might be their only smile for the week. I also don't take for granted that the lives that we do and just the interaction in the chat, that might be somebody's only time to really be social. Because some of us are still confined in the house or some of us may be confined to the hospital and you just never know. So I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the kindness that you extend in the chat. Um, it means so much to me. I love you guys. Have a great rest of your night. And I don't know if I'm going to be on tomorrow. But just be on the lookout. I might. And don't forget, Marilyn will be on on Thursday. Um, on Thursday night. I will be on on Friday night for crafts and combos. We're going to do something fun. Not sure exactly what. Kind of an idea. And Evie will be on on Sunday, um, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time. Why did I say that? Eastern Standard Time. Evie will be on. And then guess what? Delonda better be back next week, Tuesday. So be on the lookout for Delonda Patrice next week, Tuesday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time and on Wednesday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I hope, I miss Monday, but I hope Angel B Designs will be back on Monday because just like y'all, I have them on my calendar to watch. So I hope they will all be on when they're supposed to. Marilyn, you better be on Thursday. See you. So good. Yes, Romeo Wednesday. Romeo, Romeo Wednesday. Okay, y'all don't want to miss Romeo Wednesday. Y'all don't. Okay. You you're gonna get a lot of information. You're gonna learn a lot. I love y'all. And until next time, y'all.